This is Naked Pine. Naked Pine. M I P. With Masamela Matsuma. Mark Thompson. Naked Pine. Get woke. Ladies and gentlemen, as many of you undoubtedly have heard, our friend, our brother, our comrade Joe Madison has been on a hunger strike for over two months. We wanted to talk to him, check in, check in on how he's doing, what the developments are for what he is standing up for. And I think it's timely because uh, over the weekend we lost uh, uh, well, two Giants. Of course, we lost Sidney Poitier. We also lost Lonnie Guineer. Um, who herself stood up for voting rights and was so outspoken, she ended up uh, having her nomination withdrawn. Joe is continuing, picking up that baton, continuing his battle with his hunger strike. The Black Eagle joins us now from home. Hey, brother, how you feeling? Well, you know, there are good days. Uh, and then there are physical challenges, as I was, I was telling you before we... Um, uh, before we uh, started, um, the you know the first so because people always ask what's what happens and and you and I Mark have had a, a great mentor in Dick Gregory uh, and who I went through three or four hunger strikes with him mm -hmm. uh, and so I anticipated the physical challenges. Um, um, you know, at this point, this is, let's see, this would be day 64. Uh, and what starts to happen now is the body goes into uh, survival mode. Mm -hmm. uh, metabolism begins to slow down. You know, the first first couple of weeks, it's pretty much water and, 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 uh, calories and now it's you got to be concerned about protein intake and but i've got i've got you know i've got christian gregory who went through it with his dad um timothy dean the uh, celebrity chef uh, he checks on me and and uh and it's you know help with juicing uh so good days bad days and the doctor basically said to uh conserve my energy and uh, that was his instructions uh, uh just uh, the other day how many uh, how many days now joe has it been well well uh this would be uh 64 day 64 64 yeah um what are the latest developments we've heard uh chuck schumer say that he wants to have a vote by Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, would have preferred him to say he wanted to have a vote on your timetable, a vote soon enough that we can get Joe Madison back to eating again. Uh, it's presumptuous of him to decide that would be January 17th, but be that as it may. Where do you see things? Do, are you, do you have any uh, optimism that something will get actually done this week? I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm concerned um, uh, because uh, there's really only two people who are standing in the way of these, uh, these voting right bills that you've talked about. You know, we don't need to go into their names, but, you know, the John Lewis bill, the 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 um, voting right the other voting rights bill and that's um, um, uh, uh, Joe Manchin of West Virginia and and uh, uh, Cinema of of Arizona now the irony is in my conversation with uh, Senate Majority Leader uh, Schumer he has uh, said and I think I've been able to validate or verify but it's a fact that all 50 democratic senators uh support uh, both bills uh and quite candidly there's only one republican i think that's Mikowski of alaska who says she might support the john lewis bill uh, but there's no guarantee of that 
So clearly the Republicans have established that they're going to be the new uh, Dixiecrat. They're going to be the new voter suppression uh, party. Mm -hmm. Um, What worries me, Mark, what worries me is I really don't know how Manchin and Sinema are going to vote. And the last time, Mark, that I talked to uh, the Senate Majority Leader, he said, I asked him, what should our audiences do? And he said, you have to uh, push and press, push and press. And, 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 and I suspect that the, at least these two senators. Now, I try to be optimistic when I decided to do this, take this uh, uh, action. Uh, I did it in solidarity with you and Barber and Sharpton and Melanie Campbell and NACP. And, and, and now you've got uh, a, a, a dozen or so of our ministerial friends who started their hunger strike uh, on the 6th. Uh, and hopefully their congregations will push and press. So I personally, I, I really don't know, but I tell you what I've said and I believe, and, I will, and I've said this to the Democratic senators, I've said it to Schumer, and I've, and I've sent this message clearly to the White House. If they are unable to pass uh, these two voting rights bill and protect not just black folks vote, but in particular our vote, uh, then they're going to lose. They're going to come out the big losers. They, and, and then because one a senator asked me, well, what do you mean? They'll vote for Trump. And I said, no, no senator, they just won't vote. Yeah. And, 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 uh, when, and, and see, that's what I don't understand about cinema. Uh, you know, Sinema received 110,000 black votes in Arizona. I, I didn't even know 110,000 black folk, I say it sarcastically, <laughs> lived in Arizona. And right. Lord knows more Hispanic votes. Uh, but, but this transcends race. But, but, but they better start listening to your show and my show and what people are saying on the street and in the beauty shops and barbershops and the, and the clubs. And it's coming from everybody. I mean, not yeah. young and old that, that, uh, that, uh, you will lose our vote. You will yeah. lose our vote. And if you do, you're going to lose the house. You're going to lose the Senate. You will not regain the white house. And I suspect that Donald Trump, uh, would, will, 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 probably get elected president of the United States. More MIP after this message. Because this is really an, an existential type of thing. That's the thing that's puzzling to me. What are your thoughts about Joe Manchin? He's he's supposed to be a Democrat, but it's almost as if Joe, he's single handedly willing to cost the Democrats. Yes, their yeah. their majority. Man, that he and Cinema are, that's absolutely right. Uh, 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 it was um, Sherrod Brown of Ohio, progressive, a Democratic senator who's up for re-election. Mark, he told both of them, and in particular, he told Cinema that if you don't carve up this uh, 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 filibuster, which you did, by the way, just a few weeks ago for the debt ceiling, and, right. and and we should know historically, as you know, Mark, uh, the the um, the um, uh, the filibuster has been carved up a hundred and sixty nine times since 1960 uh, for all kinds of reasons. Um, but Sherrod Brown apparently told uh, Senator Sinema that if, if, if you, if we fail at carving up this filibuster, he will lose his Senate race in Ohio. And mm. be, because again, you know, the, the folks in Cleveland and Cincinnati and, uh, and won't, and, and my hometown of Dayton, where I grew up, they, they just won't vote for him. They just won't yeah. vote. They won't vote. 
And you you said it, man. These two could single-handedly uh, cause the Democratic Party to lose all the power that it has acquired uh, in this uh, in this election cycle. What about you know, Joe? You've been out here doing this for years. We've been doing a lot together. Uh, although um, I, I must admit, you know, I, I I give deference to you because you've been doing it a little bit longer than I have. Um, uh, what about this time, though, at this stage in your life made you want to risk it now? Well, it, it's it's been it's always it's been continuous. I, I really, you know, I really didn't think about it. I, I didn't, you know, I, I really didn't think about this stage in my life until somebody started bringing up the fact, well, you know, you're 72 years old. I don't feel 72, but you know, hey, you know, that, that, that. but, but think about, think about our, our friend, think about our, our, our brother, think about our mentor, Dick Gregory, was in it to the end you were there yeah yeah think about you know rosa parks was in it to the end look i i'll say this as poetically as i possibly can I, you know we always talk about passing the torch uh and i've said that i'm not passing my torch now i might light your torch uh but i'm gonna hold on to my torch because everybody has to be uh, on the battlefield on on this one. And those of us who uh, have a platform, uh, who have experience, um, we we all are in this together. But the the here's I'm going to tell you what what I what I said back November eighth that I I started thinking. I started reflecting on the end of the first reconstruction mm -hmm. and and how the former slaveholders who in, lost the Civil War uh, were uh, did, not one of them voted for the 14th or 15th Amendment uh, to give ex slaves the right to vote. Mm -hmm. uh, those ex slaves sent a a you a, 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 a an ex slave to the United States Senate from Mississippi, South Carolina sent representatives to the House, uh, and on the state level, um, they they held state offices and local offices, and then Rutherford B. Hayes cut a deal called the Hayes Tilden Compromise, in in which he he agreed to remove federal troops from Southern states that were there to protect uh, ex-slaves rights to vote. And they almost immediately, the Ku Klux Klan began terrorizing, assassinating, and, and, and putting in uh, black codes, uh, controlling the Sup Supreme Court. And our ancestors called hell for over 100 years or almost 100 years uh, until the 1965 Voting Rights Act. And mm -hmm. I said at the time when I announced it that my, my protest is in response to the fact that I don't want my children, grandchildren and their children to, to ask, well, what did you do when it appears that the, the, these new uh, Dixiecrats, these new uh, voter suppressionists uh, uh, wanna end the second reconstruction, which we yeah. talk about a lot. We call this the second reconstruction. And that's exactly what's happening. And I yeah. just decided, and I didn't, you know, that look, Mark, you know, and I know, and your audience, our audiences know, people have sacrificed a lot more than solid food. They've sacrificed their lives. Churches have been burned down. Folks right. have been killed. Uh, uh, you know, people of all races and, 
and 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 have have sacrificed a lot more and uh and so finally i as i thought about this studied the history current events what's going on now you know i i i had this conversation with christian gregory yeah and i asked him you know what would what would your father do and 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 uh and he said you know joe you know what dick would do dick would probably be on a hunger strike in solidarity with everybody else who's marching and getting arrested and having rallies but the one thing he, he you know he certainly wouldn't have to do and that is ask permission right. and so i just right. decided this is going to be uh my sacrifice uh and 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 that's why to answer your question that's that's why i decided to do it more mip after this message folks joe madison keep him in your <clears throat> prayers as he said about a dozen other Members of the, my fellow members of the clergy have joined as well. Um, we're over 60 days now and no solid food. Um, please continue to pray for him. Joe, thank you as always, man, not only for joining us, but for standing up in the way that you are. Uh, and, we and, know it's again. And, please. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Man. No, I just want to say, and could you, you know, to everybody, you know, please, please push and press uh, uh, cinema and and mansion I right. mean they should they should be bombarded uh, with calls I mean look you even got Oprah calling <laughs> you got, <laughs> right you know God bless it man you got Oprah calling them and if Oprah can pick up the phone uh, you know all of us can um, I, I'm 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 going to hold out faith that they're better ain't that they will understand that protecting our rights well like I'll say it this way just as food is essential to maintaining life or sustaining life just as food is essential to sustaining life the vote is essential to maintaining democracy. And it's far more important than some antiquated filibuster rule right. in the United States Senate. Agreed. Thank you, Joe, as always, friend. Thank, no, my, Mark, I appreciate it. Love you, thank you, best to you and your family. And tell that uh, future baseball star, son of yours, I'm, his first World Series, I hope to be around at least get a <laughs> ticket. <laughs> You will. We thank you, Joe. All right. Thank you. God bless. Thanks for getting woke and listening to Make It Plain. Please remember to listen, like, and wherever you get your podcasts, please give the show a five-star rating. And please do spread the word. Let's all continue to pray for each other during this pandemic and this police-demic. If all hearts and minds are clear, it has been Made Plain. Not all bread is created equal. And if you like your soft, fluffy, moist, and delicious, then Hero Bread and Buns should be your first choice. But Hero Bread isn't just about taste and texture. It's high in fiber with ultra-low net carbs with zero grams of sugar. Order today at Hero.co and use the code AH10 to get 10% off your first purchase. That's AH10 at Hero.co, H-E-R-O dot C-O, for 10% off your first purchase.